is it. Racerhead by um, Derek Lynch. Yeah, Derek Lynch, great director. I don't know if you've uh, ever heard of him, but uh, really inspirational for me. What I'm working on is a surreal, experimental, independent documentary film, and I am filming it in this location because. Um, you know, the atmosphere is pretty desolate down here. It's pretty experimental. And uh, there's this weird um, older woman that lives upstairs that doesn't like me to film up there. Um, that I don't like to talk about that though. So I've got a couple of my uh, main cameras here. This is a uh, Canon Panasonic Nikon XL2. It's a... Uh, Got a lot of footage on it from a lot of good projects, and um, you know, I take a lot of pride in this one. We've got the Canon 41 XP, you know, the rest. Anyways, this one's also pretty good. Uh, got, got, a, got a quick mic port in there. We got a, a DV, which, as you can see, uh, that has DV on it too, so that means that this is like that's the same thing. This is my buddy Maxwell, and um, what you're gonna hear a lot of times is that, one sec. You can hear that this, this kind of thing, you know, tape is, you know, obsolete and it's all about digital these days. That's complete bullshit. Um, as you can see here, this this is what you want. This is prime stuff. You you see, I call these the owl eyes because these are the the eyes of the tape, and they see all. They see all the art, and they see everything I'm I'm delving into with my films. And um, I just I just don't think I could ever not use Maxwell. I don't know if you mind. I'm gonna do a quick uh, exercise to get some ideas flowing my movie. Sony A7S. I'm like Sony 87 suck, because that's a shitty camera. A lot of times, people ask me why I use Windows Movie Maker, and bottom line, uh, you know, you may have the industry standards with, uh, you know, Final Cut and uh, Premiere and Avid, but. The Dean standard is, you know, Windows Movie Maker. And I just think that most people don't realize the full potential of Windows Movie Maker. You've got these great texts that you can throw in and you can like slide them all around. And it's just, people don't, you can even, you can even make it black and white. Like you, you don't even have to shoot it in black and white. You can just put a filter on it. like potential right there and people just don't get it 
Like I'd like to see uh, Final Final Cut do that. Hey man, you need some help with that? Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll help you out. Okay. Just let me set this. Yeah. Let me see this. What the fuck, Dan? Ow! Christ! You okay? I guess. Dick. A couple of my main film influences would probably be, uh, you know, Roman Polanski, Andrew Carton, uh, you know, Derek Lynch, of course. You've got Eisenstein. Albert Eisenstein, that is. Um, you know, George Lucas wipes. The Star Wars wipes. I feel like everyone knows what those are. As well as Howard the Duck. Which is, I think, one of the most influential movies ever. You know, you've you got the first five minutes and you're already seeing some, like, like, plaster of Paris, like, duck breasts. And I just, I don't know how they thought of that, but it's, it's invigorating. Dude, you're in my shot. Get the fuck out of here. Close up! Get into the pogs! These are um, these are Craig's pogs. He's 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 he thinks that he's the executive producer of the of the movie, and he's been paying me in these. Dude, so, what? who the who the fuck did you, my pogs? Dude, dude, don't touch my pogs, ass. So, oh, dude, God. I'm sorry. You didn't you weren't you didn't have them. Oh, it's just. Sorry. Pogs are the currency of the future. Someday the whole world is going to be controlled by pogs. I want them all. I want to collect every last one of them. Every time I close my eyes, I see slammers. Power Ranger Pogs, Ultra Rare Golden Dragon Pogs, 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 Fuck the bitch. Fuck the bitch. Wake up, Daniel. Wake up and smell the pods. Wake up, Daniel. Here's your pods. Wake up, Daniel. Wake up. Pods. No. Not a bit. I'm not a bit. No. I'm not a bit. So uh, this is one of my tripods here. I'm gonna show you how to set one of these bad boys up. By the way, uh, this is a very, very durable tripod. So it's got all these legs on it. 
And the more legs, the better is, um, you know, what I was always told. So check this out. This is just like really strong, but this is one of my tripods here. Very legit tripod. Very uh, high grade aluminum as well. So um, quick strength test. <sighs> like that was that was full muscles. Like I, you know, I couldn't even get a single bend on that. So uh, that 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 that's that. You know, this is this is perfect. I, there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of times people will talk about Stanley Kubrick being like the guy of the industry and how he spends so much time on his films and all this space stuff and like shining like fuck off like he... Craig what the f did you f Craig did you do that? Oh dude it wasn't what the me. fuck? I, I swear dude. That... No I just dude, I've just been here. You know this is my mom's house. You, you know this is my mom's I house. I didn't do it. For the next portion of my film, I'm going to be uh, filming some wildlife on my uh, 11 millimeter here. My name's Dean Breyerman, and I'm an artist. My name's Dean Breyerman, and I am a filmmaker. My name is Dean Breyerman, and I am the second coming of Christ. Stop. <laughs> 